My name's Nigel Hewitt. Um, I'm an artist that's been working in uh, WA for um, for some years, 25 years probably. Um, I sometimes paint portraits and uh, um, I'm at the moment uh, working on a portrait of uh, Bob Juniper for the uh, Black Swan Portrait Prize. Uh, the portrait is of, uh, of uh, Robert Juniper. He's the, a major paint, painter in uh, WA. He's also uh, my next door neighbour. And I've, I've, known, I've known Bob for, um, for a number of years, probably ever since I've been painting, probably 25 years. And, um, but uh, recently I've got to know him a lot better and that's been fabulous. Um, I've always thought, I mean, I've always thought about painting Bob, not that I've ever sort of told him that. But um, this was a great opportunity. I mean, he's, uh, there's, a, there's a statue about Bob that um, I wanted to try and capture. That's why I've uh, done this image um, of such, well, such a large scale, because he is, uh, you know, has a large presence on many levels. Portrait paintings are very, very difficult. It's not, it's not just capturing the likeness of somebody. That's reasonably easy. It's, uh, and it's not the composition. That's not too difficult at all. There's, I think um, through all my work, there's, um, uh, there's, I want to try and capture something outside of the actual physical presence of, um, for example, in this case, uh, Bob. I wanted to try and sort of speak about um, his presence and um, him as a human being, him, him as a sort of a, a vulnerable human being, like we all are, to try and sort of um, add an element of um, that emotion it, that that emotive quality to the subject that's the difficult thing and uh at, that's what really sort of um raises the challenge like i when i start off with a portrait i can sort of lay it all down reasonably easily and get a likeness and but then it's moving on to the next stage that's the tough one i'm using um a particular technique which i think is fairly unique it's it's a, it's a combination of wax and uh and pigment but which is um, encaustic but I don't use it like that there's it's oil paint used really quite sort of transparently and sort of um, built up between layers of um, wax and the wax is a mixture of microcrystalline and paraffin it's I use that wax particularly because it's very very um, transparent and it's through that sort of transparency and through those layers that I can actually sort of take it away from its reality but to get that I've got to do lots and lots and lots of layers and I've got to keep doing it until I arrive at it. It's, uh, it's a matter of this thing about sort of building up an image, then destroying it to a certain degree, and then building it back up again and then destroying it again and so on. And then the essence, I hopefully, of the image will come out. It is a bit scary. And I, I, in fact, it's been my problem with this image so far. I've been just a little bit precious. And I've got to get out of that. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's always a problem. You can't be precious. Just because you spent sort of um, a month painting a face, it doesn't mean to say that you need to hang on to it. Each portrait, like this one, I've probably nearly spent three months on, and um, it's a it's a long time, and financially it's a bit difficult. But if I've got the excuse to say that I'm actually working for a prize, it allows me to be extravagant and spend that sort of time because it's wonderful. I mean, I really love it as a subject, and it also um, gives me a little kudos in the sense if I go and talk to ask Bob whether he's interested in me painting his portrait for this particular prize it gives it gives that whole process kudos and uh, so I'm so pleased that it is uh, it is a, a continuing prize and hopefully it gets bigger and uh, and you know well better if that's possible so, ironically enough I can't stand the whole idea of prizes you, as an artist you have to enter into it you have to do it because if you do win it's a cv it sort of adds you know once again kudos to my sort of um experience and and it's it just take it also takes me out of my usual sort of regime of working which is usually sort of landscape and things like that mm. well, i mean it's one way of finding out what people think of my work for, uh, at a bigger level you know to sort of um and if you go into a prize there's sometimes write-ups which is very important and it gets seen within the context of of other work that's very important i'm always interested in knowing what other people think of my work and um it's essential it's essential that 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 takes place mm -hmm. most portrait prizes are over east um the, and the dilemmas in um and also the finance involved in sending images over east and the, the possibility of them getting damaged it's just it's it's 
pretty difficult. Also, over east, a lot of um, people in WA have never been heard of, so it makes it even more difficult to be chosen. And, um, you know, you just get... I mean, I've sent over probably... Uh, how many portraits? One, two... About sort of four or five portraits. And I've been hung twice in the Archie board, but the rest have been rejected, and I... I sort of hate being rejected and it's just like being local I know what's going on you know it's nice to know what's going on it's um I mean it's wonderful that people over east have got to send their portraits over here for a change <laughs> that we can uh, treat them with a little bit of disregard <laughs> working as an artist is a very isolated thing well, you know like live, <laughs> working up here in Darlington it's a very very quiet and isolated spot but it's lovely for some reasons but sometimes it's a little bit hard to network under those conditions. You've got to sort of uh, follow your passion, really, and uh, don't take any shortcuts.